Jacking up your vehicle properly is important for the safety of not only your car, but also for your own safety. So here's your simple and easy to follow guide on the basics of safely jacking up your Subaru WRX STI. Before we start, it's important that we have the right tools. The three basic tools we'll need are a floor jack, jack stands, and wheel chops. Now we don't need to go out there and buy the most expensive tools we can find, but I would highly recommend saving for some decent quality tools because failure in any one of these tools could result in costing you way more than any money you could ever have saved by going too cheap. The floor jack I'm using is the Pittsburgh 3 ton low profile floor jack. Unless you're jacking up something like an SUV or pickup truck, I definitely suggest getting a low profile floor jack. Especially for you slammed boys. There are many jack stands out there, but I prefer ones that are safe and have a flat top like these Esco jack stands. These jack stands have a flat hockey puck with grooves for more versatility, allowing you to use them for multiple kinds of jack points. But what I really like about these jack stands is that it features a locking pin mechanism, preventing the jack stand from any chance of slipping. Lastly, having a set of wheel chocks are important for preventing the car from rolling back. The pinch welds are one of the most common jack points on many cars. If you look under the rocker panel near each of the wheels, you'll see these little grooves where you can safely put your jack or jack stands. If you're doing routine maintenance like an oil change, you're probably going to want to get the front of the car in the air. Start by putting the wheel chocks on the front and back of your rear wheels. Now we can jack up the front of the car by putting the floor jack on this jacking point located in the middle of the front right in between where the plastic under tray starts to make a U shape. Then jack up the car high enough for the jack stands to fit underneath. Finally place the jack stands under the pinch welds and lower the floor jack. Jacking up the car from the back can be done in a pretty similar way. Just like the last time, we'll be chalking off our wheels. Since we're jacking up the back, the wheel chalks will go on the front wheels to prevent the car from rolling. This time, place the floor jack underneath the bottom of the rear differential and jack up the car. Now line up the jack stands underneath the pinch welds. And lower the floor jack. So that's how you jack up the front and back of the STI. But sometimes we only want to lift one side of the car up at a time. To do that, we can use the pinch weld to lift the car with the floor jack. But with the floor jack occupying the pinch weld, you might be wondering where to put the jack stand. A good spot for the jack stand is somewhere sturdy, such as a suspension point like under here for the rear. and over here on the lower control arm for the front. Since floor jacks are quite big and heavy, you're not likely to always have one on you in case of an emergency. Luckily the WRX STI still includes a traditional scissor jack. 
Under the floor of the trunk, you'll find a scissor jack and rod. To make the scissor jack go up, simply put the rod through the hole of the jack and crank it up to your desired height. When you're all set and want to lower it, simply crank it the opposite way. This gap here at the top of the scissor jack was designed specifically to be used on the pinch weld and should really only be used in a pinch, such as changing out a flat tire. Since these jacks can be kind of flimsy and not exactly the jack of all trades, Those are the basics to safely jacking up your WRX STI. Be sure to check out a couple of my other videos where I put these tools to good use. And consider subscribing to stay up to date with my latest automotive videos.